Hi, I'm Patricia Newby, the president and founder of Strategic Business Partnerships, a business coaching and consulting company. We work with small business owners to help them to launch, run, and expand viable, sustainable businesses. Business financials are an indication of the health of your business. When used on a regular basis, it will help you to pinpoint when the business is on plan, behind plan, or even ahead of plan. And based on what that data is telling you, you can then take action to make the necessary adjustments so that the business is achieving the goals that you have set and meeting your expectations. Financials are important throughout the entire process of planning, launching, and running your business. So when you're in the planning stage, you will develop a startup budget. That will give you an indication of what funding will be required to get that business off the ground. It will allow you to determine if you have enough funding to start the business or if you will need to consider acquiring a loan or some type of investment to get the business up and going. Also in support of launching the business, you will generate projections. So those will be income and expense projections that give you an idea of what it will take on a day-to-day -day basis to operate your business. Once you've launched the business, you can use that same information to compare it against the actuals that you're realizing to determine whether the business is on plan. One of the things about planning, launching, and actually running the business is that things do not always go according to plan. And that's okay. As long as you're looking at the data and you're able to determine where things are doing better than expected, right on target, or lagging behind, it gives you the opportunity to make some decisions um, and to make some changes in the way that you're running the business uh, so that you can get things back on track or if things are going better than expected, to take advantage of whatever that situation may be. So since we're talking about financials, uh, we're talking about these financial statements, about how beneficial it is to look at this data and use it to make decisions, to determine how your business is performing. Before you can generate the statements, you need to collect the data. To collect the data, you need some type of accounting system. When we start our businesses, a lot of times we don't think we have the funds to invest, but there are some things that we would really be doing ourselves more harm if we did not invest in them. And an accounting system is one of them. You want to do it as soon as possible because it will be absolutely crucial to make sure that you're capturing all of the business transactions so that you have that information that will allow you to generate the financial statements that will then allow you to determine how your business is operating and to help you make those very critical decisions. Also, you know, there is so much that we can determine by looking at the financial statements. So let's assume that we've priced our products and services properly. We're generating enough revenue to cover the cost of providing those services. We're generating enough money to cover all of our expenses. You even have money to put away what we can retain in the business uh, that you can use in the future. And you wake up and you can still be in a world of trouble. Now what could that be? That would be if you don't have the cash flow that you need to run the business. So it's possible to generate revenue, to be profitable, and still not have enough cash. So the first thing we may think is, wow, I need to go get a loan. But if we look at our accounts receivable aging report, we will see that there's plenty of cash out there. We just haven't collected it from our clients. So instead of going to the bank and trying to get a loan, we now need to invest our resources in how are we going to connect with those clients to collect the money that they owe us for the services and products that they have already received. Now you can also look at that and handle that a number of ways. You can change your payment terms with those clients and if that doesn't work, you may have to actually decide that these are not the best clients for your business. So one of the hard things to realize in the business is that every client is not a good client. 
that might be hard to, to recognize. But if you're generating money and not able to collect it, that really doesn't do your business a lot of good. Another thing you can do is determine how well you can pay your bills. And you can make that determination by looking at the balance sheet. So you would then look at your current assets and divide that by your current liabilities. You want that number to be between one and a half to three. And what that means is that you have enough current assets, that's assets that you can convert to cash very quickly to cover any current liabilities. And those would be bills that are due within a year. It's one thing to get the data, print it out, and put it on the desk. That will do you no good at all. But if you actually look at that data, understand what it's telling you, and take appropriate action, your business will really benefit from it, and your life will be a lot easier. There are a number of financial statements that you can use, one of them being the income statement. The income statement will let you know the amount of revenue that you've generated, what it costs to generate that revenue, um, and the expenses that were required to keep the business up and running. It will also give an indication of whether you have priced your products and services properly. Because if you have, the revenue that you generate will cover the cost to provide those products and services, any fixed costs, and then there will be profit remaining that you can reinvest in the business for a slow period or if you intend to expand your business. So the key here is that if you look at the data, you pay attention to what it tells you and take appropriate action, you're being proactive in steering your company and your business in the direction that you want it to go.